victims, you're tired. God knows. But there's judgment in the gate. There's going to be quaking, shaking, arresting, and freeing. Watch. Pat with Pat's Two Cents with God's Church of Love every Saturday at 1215 Pacific. All right. Let's go into the word, shall we? Mm, mm, mm. Wow. Whew. You know, sometimes life, the times that we're living in can really be disheartening. It can really be discouraging to many. We don't see the changes we want to see. The rich are always getting away with crap. I don't mean all rich. I mean the wicked rich. That's um, that's the, the <laughs> there's some good folks out there that are rich, and God has blessed them with with what they have. But I'm talking about the wicked rich who have victimized, who got their riches off of the blood. They their blood is on their hands. Blood is on their money. Blood is on their wealth. That's the wicked I'm talking about. And a lot of us have been, a lot of people in this country, in this world, have been victimized by the rich. There are people out there that are so rich, they have nothing but contempt for people who serve them faithfully, who have, who have set aside their own interests because they're trying to be faithful to the person that has nothing but contempt for them. But I want you to know, God honors your faithfulness. God honors a lot of things that the wicked rich don't. God honors the people that have been victimized, the people that have been cheated, the countries that have had their lands taken out from under them by lies and treaties that are falsified, uh, all kind of backhanded stuff that's been going on. God knows it all. He knows it. He sees what's going on. And yes, it's not right, but he gave everybody a uh, free will and we live in a fallen world. And that's why bad things happen to good people. That's why people get things ripped off. Not because they're always, it's not always because they're paying for sin. It's because we live in a fallen world. And when people choose sin, God takes his hand off and he says, have it your way, Wendy. So unfortunately, when people have it their way, they also victimize people who don't agree with their way. But they're victimized because they have no money. They have no power. They have no say. They have no clout. They have nothing. And that's kind of the way this world as they say, money talks. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm going to read this to those of you who are tired. Those of you who are sick and tired of the way things have been going on in this country, in this world, in this globe. Sick and tired of the people who have made merchandise of you and your loved ones. And we are reading from. Galatians chapter 6, mm, verse 7, starting at verse 7. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Let me stop right there. I'm going to read some more. But what I want to say to you is, you're going to reap it here or there. On this side of the tracks or on the other side of eternity. Either way, you will reap. Either way, you will. You'll reap what you sow. That's for the blessed and for the cursed. That's for those who are in the Lord, who are doing right by people, people who have genuine hearts, and for those who have blood on their hands. Mm-hmm. For those of you who think it's okay to ruin a little boy's life by victimizing him sexually. 
for those of you who are trying to turn these kids' heads backwards with all these agendas in school. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about. All right. So let's go to verse six. Uh, excuse me, not six. Verse eight. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. And this world is corrupted, y'all. You look at almost every government out there. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. And let us not be weary in well-doing for in due season. That's the part we don't want to wait for. In due season, we shall reap if we faint not. Mm, mm, mm. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. Y'all, y'all, y'all. Yes, we're living in trying times. We're living in bizarre times. Good is called evil. Evil is called good. People would rather have the sins of the flesh thriving, hmm, reviving, rather than the goodness of God. They would rather have corruption, ah, rather than change for the good of all. Why? Because there's money in corruption, y'all. There's power in corruption. It's not the power that God gives. It's the power that comes from sowing to the flesh. And a lot of you who sow to your flesh, a lot of you who have blood on your hands, you don't realize the scripture, God's word is alive. And it's activated, y'all. And no matter how much you want to ignore it, bury it, or let it collect dust, it's very much alive. And all this other stuff will fail over time. But God's word will never fail. Listen to this. And it will never return to him void. Listen to this one. A lot of you don't realize that he, this is the word right here, he that sows to the wind will reap the whirlwind. See, you, you reap what you sow to. If you reap love, you'll, 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 if you sow love, you'll reap love. If you, if you sow corruption, you will reap corruption. If you sow goodness to your fellow man, you will reap goodness from your fellow man. If you sow sweetness and compassion to the poor, to the helpless, to the needy, to the handicapped, to those that are on fixed incomes, to the widows, to the strangers, to the orphans, to the inmates who shouldn't be there, you will reap the good of God's hand. But for those of you who browbeat and beat down and stifle and shut up and silence and oppress and lie to and steal from and murder and hinder and help and harm and oh my goodness, I'm telling you, you will reap the whirlwind, baby. Blood is all over you. It's all over you. And you may have gotten away with murder in the laws of the land. But baby cakes, you have a God waiting at the end of your road. And payday is not going to be a pretty thing. You are not going to be a happy camper when payday comes. Judgment is in the land, baby. There is judgment in the gates. Hmm. There's a, a song that says, our money says in God we trust, but we can't pray in school. <laughs> There's judgment in the gates, y'all. Get ready to see a lot of politicians brought down 
exposed, arrested, sued. Get ready to see a lot of stings where there are a lot of, of gigantic uh, organizations out there that are are uh, doing human trafficking and and drug pushing and and you notice that all the drugs and the alcohol and all that crap is always shoved around to the poor neighborhoods you notice that yeah that's another form of genocide whether you want to believe it or not it's still a fact there's genocide going on all over this world certain people are not welcome on this planet by other people but guess what? The world, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. It's the Lord's, not yours. It's not yours to do people wrong anytime you get ready to. It's not yours, baby. The, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. And all that dwell therein. Yeah, that's right, including you. So when you get through with all that blood on your hands... God's going to handle you. And for those of you who are getting weary and well-doing, don't give up. Please don't give up. It may seem to you that God is a distance away, that God's on a coffee break, that God is out shopping at the mall while you're dealing with agonizing pain, while you're dealing with disrespect, contempt, mistreatment, abuse, brow beating while you're dealing with being cheated and having things taken from you by big corporations. God is not mocked. And he will vindicate you in time. But you must ask God for the help. Don't go to any other source but God. And then let him open the doors for the help that's on this planet that can come to your rescue. Don't come up with your own schemes with your own vengeance. God says, vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. God hurts for the hurting, y'all. And it makes him angry. Ah. Oh. But know that your day of vindication is coming. Judgment day is coming. And I'm not just talking about what happens in the, after the first seven, after the seven seals. No, I'm not talking about that in the book of Revelation. Right now, I'm talking about there are going to be pockets of judgment you're going to see. Some of it's going to happen in the weather. Some of it's going to happen in the financial world. Some of it's going to happen in, in, the, in the political arena. You're going to see it. You're going to see the dominoes falling. And some of the dominoes that fall will shock you, will shake you to your knees. You'll be shocked. What? Not them. But God knows. God sees. And when God says enough, Baby, you better back yourself up, buckle up your seatbelt, and, and, and hold on. It's going to be a rough ride. But as long as you're holding on to God, as long as you're waiting on him, trusting in him, crying out to him, living the way he wants you to live, being the way he wants you to be, bearing the fruits of holiness and righteousness, the fruits of goodness that he wants you to bear. You're going to come out on the winning side because you're on the side of the winner, the victor. He is for you, not against you. But when it comes to our enemies, y'all, sit back and watch. Things are getting ready to happen, y'all. This is not going to be a long message. This is more of a word of exhortation. Be encouraged and know that God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, whatsoever your enemy sow, whatsoever the politicians sow, whatsoever the, cor the corruption, whatever the, all this corruption sows, that shall they also reap. So you get ready. God's going to tell you what channel to turn on. And you're going to see it happen right before your eyes. And you will know. This is the hand of God right here.
is my prayer for all of us, for all the people who have been victimized, for all the inmates who have been corruptly arrested and sentenced without a cause that God will vindicate you financially as well. That God will vindicate all of us who have been ripped off for years by hierarchy. That we will all be reimbursed in a very big way. Y'all pray all that. Pray. And that all the little plans, the little schemes of mice and men that are up there with the blood on their hands, trying to finagle things so that they can get higher and higher, richer and richer, more and more powerful, that God will cancel all their assignments against the people who have no voice. That God will vindicate us. Amen? That God will vindicate the victims of human trafficking. That God will vindicate the little boys and the little kids who have been forced into prostitution. That God will vindicate. God bless you. And that is the word. It's not long. I know it's not long. But I felt like the most important thing we needed to do in our church service, which we did, was we covered this mess in prayer. You be encouraged and know that some things are getting ready to be shaking bacon. I mean, shaking bacon, baby. You're going to see some stuff. It's going to happen right here in this day and age, right before our eyes. Watch and pray and hear what the Spirit of God says to the churches. God bless you.